Greetings, here I am back with my first um, painting demonstration. I'm going to do a technique called Wet on Wet and I'm going to take you through a series of four paintings of the tree through the seasons. This is um, an exercise that I learnt in my training um, and which I've developed a little bit and made a little bit more accessible but it'll be working with the seasonal colours. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say again is about the where the jar is placed, that it's to the right if you're right-handed on the right, if you're left on the left-handed, everything on the left. I'm right-handed so I've got my jar here and I've got my sponge next to my jar because this sponge, as I tell the children, is the doormat and we need to wipe our feet of the brush on it. And you want to make sure your doormat's dry because um, sometimes it gets very full of water and you think you're drying your brush and you're actually wetting it. So just little things like that you need to be aware of. I'm going to take a little bit of water now and I'm going to take ultramarine blue, which is the middle blue of this palette. And I'm starting at the bottom of my paper and I'm going, with my brush stroke, I'm going from left to right. Now, being right-handed, this is called the breathing brush stroke and it goes across the heart. So, um, yeah, it's just very relaxing and it sort of takes you into a deeper space in your breathing if you are able to sort of um, flow with this movement. If you're left-handed, you go from the other direction. You go from right to left. Have a little trouble with that. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, just important, uh, and also that you sort of get into a rhythm of gentle brush strokes. I'm only going about quarter up the page, um, and as you would have seen, I started at the bottom with my dark paint, and I uh, overlap my brush stroke as I go. So I'm creating a mood of ultramarine blue from dark. white, 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 tiny bit of water and I'm going to get the rose matter which is at the end of my palette and I'm just going to check, oh it's a bit dark, so I often check um, on the side of my uh, board, I'm going to clean that because it's too dark, to make sure that I don't have it too dark because I just want what I call a breath of pink coming into this. I'm going to start with a wet brush and then I'm going to add the pink from the top. So I'm going from the top, right, a little bit of water, tiny bit of paint, just check it. Oh, let's see, let's see how quickly it goes dark. That's all right, I'll just um, fade that out. So you'll notice that I'm overlapping a lot, overlapping brush strokes and going back up and then going back down um, dissolves the paint out because you know, often when we put too much paint on we sort of get a bit of a fright and the next thing you're cleaning your brush and all the beautiful colour goes into your pot but if you just persevere and overlap you'll get this lovely dissolving out of colour so I'm just doing a, what I call a breath of pink all the way down my paper working with my breathing br brush stroke uh, from left to right Darken it a little bit. Darken it. Oops, it's getting stronger. So that paint's coming down. See, it's quite easy to suddenly find yourself painting your house, but you've got to get back into that lovely rhythm if you can. Because there's always <coughs> that tendency to rush things. And you know, just take your time, get into the zone. I'm a little bit on a time watch because of the video not being too long, but um, yeah, so just bringing that pink, that rose matter down to meet the blue, and just get a little bit darker as it meets the blue. Beautiful. Alright, it's not that even, could be a little bit more even. Just because it's really nice to actually create a mood the moment you start to get too many dark 
and light tones coming on, those, those colours start to speak. But if we just want to get into the mood of a season, doing that's just it's nice to keep your brush stroke and the colours smooth. Clean the brush, wipe, 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 wipe. Now I'm going to take a little bit more of the um, ultramarine again and I'm going to bring it into the bottom and it's just going to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to bring that out and I'm going to move up. So a straight line and I'm going to start to meander what I call a meander my brush stroke. So I'm bringing a little bit of movement in now. A little bit of movement and as I go up I'm, I'm creating a, a flow of line. See what I've done? I call that the hillock and I, up I come. So that's just the, that movement of the meander of the brush stroke so which brings in movement and a bit of action into your mood that you've just created. I'm not going to clean my brush this time, but I'm just going to wiggle into the indigo. That's the other thing I didn't say before, but when the paints are dry, like this palette will just stay dry, watercolours, you know, they just dry up, and then the next day you go to use them. Um, you don't need to do much, but just use a little bit of water on your brush to wake them up, I call it. Um, so you can wiggle in the dry paint, but if you put fresh paint in, then you dab in it very carefully. So now I'm bringing the indigo into the bottom again and I'm just going to move my brush what I, as I said a meander like this. So that's the water. Because remember we're doing the tree through the season and now I want you to watch me. This is important so I come around, flat brush, up and over and I come down like a waterfall and flat brush. So you always come up from the bottom, keep it flowing. Harder than it looks, by the way. <laughs> but anyway, you'll have fun doing it. Just get that movement happening. And you'll see also going up the trunk, I've got a little meander happening. And if you look at trees, you'll see that, especially um, in our gum trees that we have here in New Zealand. Um, you see wonderful um, watery sort of meandering movements up the bark. And There you go. And that's our... I'll just bring a little bit more indigo into that just to darken it. Just to... Yeah, into the bottom of it. Here's your first beautiful tree. And this is the what I call the winter tree. Right, and then I always wipe the side. It's a good habit to get into. Wipe the side of your board. And it works like a frame. So we've got this wonderful winter tree. very much.